doesn't have to be a true circle, but you can't be a square because it defeats the purpose. It's looping. So I'm going to start here. This is going to be my point where I send the dogs from. You all look out on here. It's pretty, isn't it? There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of barriers. There's a lot of stuff that my dog will have to navigate through. And then, there's, then I'm going to ask the dog to really think a lot. It's going to have to put some stuff in its long-term memory, short-term memory, and it's going to have to forget some things because there's going to be dis I'm going to add a distraction into this one. But my, I'm going to start out and make a loop. That's a pretty steep ditch. Uh, group number one, you're going to see it because that's where you guys are going to work. I'm going to cross the ditch, come up into that field, circle behind the trees, pitch a bumper. I'm going to have the dog on heel the whole time. I'm going to continue on through that planted field, cross the ditch, cross the road, cross the field, cross the ditch, second bird. Pitch it out. I'm going to let my dog look at it, think about it for a second. No heel. Cross the ditch, cross the field, cross the road, up to the corner, which is blind for me right now. I won't even be able to see it from here. Pitch another bumper. Where we turn on that T road, I'm going to put a bumper into the woods. I'm going to circle back around here. I'm going to come around this heifer barn, circle back through here, and I'll be back to here. So that's where I complete my circle. Then I'm going to sit here and I'm going to think about it for a second and let my dog really think. Then I'm going to line for one, line for two, line for three. And on the second one, on, her, on the dog's return, I think I'm going to use Taylor to send it on the second one. So I'm actually going to work two dogs in this. So they're going to have to really think because they're going to have to take turns. The second dog comes back as she crosses the road and the ditch and then comes across this patch of cover, we're going to have a distraction. He's going to fire a bird off. And this is where hold conditioning will not allow the dogs to switch. Because a lot of times when the dog's bringing a bird back and all of a sudden there's another bird gets shot, there's a lot of dogs that will spit it and go get that fresh one. It's just newer. It works more to them. So then we'll send out and we'll finish on the third. And then when we're done with this, we'll talk about it. Then we're going to break into groups and we're going to take this and bring it right back down to scale and do the the steps that we take to get to this. Good stuff, I imagine, good stuff. Now, just depends. Uh, I can get with Ellie, I've been working these two together quite a bit because I plan on hunting them quite a bit this fall together. So I've been working them together. Um, I also like it because I get, when I work one, I get the other one honoring. So I'm getting something out of it at the same time. It makes me more efficient with my time. So, but I, I really feel like these two, I could probably get 45 minutes to an hour of good focus. After that, they fade. Uh, spry, depending on what we're doing, and she's six months old, depending on what we're doing, I could probably push 20 minutes with her before she, my, my thoughts with it is, is if I don't get stuff done in 20 minutes, I didn't do my job. So by the time 20 minutes hits, I'm hoping that I got something out of it and I'm ready to go back home or put her back up or whatever, because I think that's about where she's, she is. So. I work up quite a little lather working around that. I mean, this is the thing, when you get to this point, when you're starting, when you get all that stuff put together and you get to doing these, these are fun. These are also a little bit of work. Like I can only do, I don't have enough time to do a lot of these. So my daily sessions, I don't do these every day, but I work on the finer points of them and then I put them together for this. This is like a little practice game. More, more, more so, so than, than the little, little short, short drills, drills that we've been doing. I do the same drills that we've been doing with these dogs. I do them with Ellie. You can see I haven't been doing them with Taylor. These are reminders to me of how flat and dull my dogs can get. Taylor has become, she's a mama. So she's become 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, well, she's become easy. easy. Uh, I suppose. Uh, she, she she has become very much softer with my expectations. I I'm okay. You know what? She lays on her couch. Not because I want her to. That one. So when you earn, when you get to, when my dogs get to a certain point, they earn some things. And the, pro the thing is, is when they get to a point and they take advantage of it, or, and I don't think they're doing it on purpose, but when they start to get poor because of it, I take those, I take those little responsibilities and advantages away. You know, if I have to have talks with Steph at times. She's not here, I can talk about her. I have to have talks with her and go, you know what? I don't want you doing that with her anymore. Not for a while, because it's showing up in the field. She's on a lead. She shouldn't be. You know why she's on a lead? Because she's used to moping around this place all weekend. Because she hasn't had to do much. This week, the guys that were with me filming this week saw her do a fair amount. Ellie really was my workhorse. Because she's really in training. Going to be two years old. Never hunted the dog yet. That says something. But most, most people, will, people say, will say, she's pretty good. I think she's ready. I think she is too now. But six months ago, she wasn't. So enough time has been elapsed here to really make these guys think. I caught my wind. I mean, it took a while. It's a long walk for me. That ditch is deep. Jim, I'll show you it. You're going to go. <laughs> I'm going to send her on the first one. And I'm going to send Taylor on the second. I haven't decided on the third yet. So I'm going to wait and see how they do. I'm going to see how steady the other ones are when the other one goes. I reward steadiness. You get retrieved when you're steady. So, Ellie's, Taylor will be second. Ellie heel. Now, I want you to notice the different mindset that this dog has. Right now, look at her. She's an athlete. She knows. She's been pretty cool and calm throughout this workshop. There's a bumper on the ground. But it hasn't compromised her steadiness. Because she thinks she's going right now, and I'm just going to change her mind. We're going to have to wait a little bit. Now, I, I don't, it's not punishment. It's just showing you, just because it, I mean, she's half cocked right now. I love that. Because it's as ready and eager as she is to please and go, she's steady as a rock. No breaking. This is nothing more than that little steadiness denial drill that we did down in the basement yesterday. Now I gotta help her out. Nose to tail is her line. That's what she'll take. So if I start her out one way or the other, her chances of success aren't as good. So I really gotta be careful of my line. And I don't want to line her on my walk because that's not where the bird is. It's over there. So I got it. She needs to cut through the circle. Sometimes that's hard. Trailing memory is easy. They run the line that we walk. It's easy for them. They're sent there. It's visual. They have already walked it. We did not walk this line yet. So she's going to have to experiment and kind of explore it herself. Here's the first barrier. This will be hard for her to navigate. She was completely sucked to those two. Did you see that? There she's through. Did you see how much time it took when she saw, lost her to when you saw her? That ditch is deep. Like it's, well, I went down it, it's 12 feet probably. 10 feet anyway. Hold, hold, hold. Hold, hold, dig. Good. Now, that was all right. Here. See the old girl's turn. Taylor. Now, now this, this one, one is a little, a little different. different. 
That line helped us on that one. That fence line helped it make it easy for her to guide. This one is at an angle. There's no straight line pointing us to that bird. There is a visual marker with that tree, so I'm gonna use it as my target. But she's gonna have to cut through, either around or through. I'll be interested to see what path she takes. Ideally, I'd love to see her run through the cover, square, cross the ditch, cross the road, cross the cover. That's, That's wet, wet in there. there. You'll hear cheese curds for the rest of the day with my feet squeaking. Yes. I'm wet. So it's wet, wet in there. there. She'll have, have to work, work into there. there. And, then and then when she, she comes, comes back, she's going to have a little surprise. surprise. Distraction. We talked, we talked about, about delays. delays. We talked, talked about denials. We talked about here's, here's a distraction. distraction. The question, the question is, is, will she pop? Is she going to take a straight line for me? Or is she going to go out, turn around, and ask for help? If she asks for help, I will call her back and resend her. I will not help her. She doesn't, she doesn't need, need help, help here. here. That's, that's, a, that's one, one barrier. barrier. She's right she's back, right to, back her to her trailing. trailing. Now, now she's, she's going to struggle. struggle. Get out. 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 Good. Now she's, now just, she's just working. Just I didn't know I if didn't she know had she it had until it I saw the lope. That lope, 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 lope. That's her slow and steady, slow and steady coming, coming back, back to you. Yeah. Cover cover, 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 cover. Now, now here's, gonna here's gonna do gonna something. something. Good. Good. Now, no. There's, there's a distraction that a lot of times, times I don't know if I don't she, know she know even, she saw, even it. saw it. Part of the problem, the problem is, is the echoes, echoes in here. In here. She's looking she's around, she's going, where, where is it? Where is it? It's, it's the echoes, echoes in here, in she, here. Can't she can't pinpoint, pinpoint it. Good, good. Come, come on, let's, let's go, go today, today. Come, come on. on. Good. good. One thing, One thing about a little slow, slow, a dog that works a little slow, slow. you know what, you know I'm what? getting I'm a little getting slower, slower too. too, I'm okay I'm with that. When I was a little younger, I might want a little hotter dog, but yeah, good. The one thing I will say about her and her style is, she's not likely to miss something. She's methodical. She's a little slow, a little slow but, but she's methodical. methodical. Where's, the race? Where's the race? Where's the fire? Where's the fire? What do I got to get, gotta you, that get you that quickly? When I go hunting, when I go I'm, hunting taking I'm taking my time, time and being and thorough. thorough. I don't, I don't, I don't, mind, I don't mind a dog, a dog that does, does it as does well, it as well right? right? So, so now, now, we had a distraction, had a distraction bird. bird. That's where hold conditioning comes in. No drop and switch. Now that was at that quite, was a quite a distance. I can get I even can closer, get closer with those distractions. With distractions. I, you, I, I did it yesterday, did it yesterday with, Ellie. with Ellie. Hold and pitch hold a bumper. And pitch hold and pitch a bumper. bumper. Hold and walk her through ducks. Through distractions, 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 distractions. distractions. But, focus but focus on the job on the at hand, hand, and the hand job at hand was for her holding. So, that's good there. Heel, heel. Actually, actually, Taylor, Ellie here. Ellie saw the. Ellie saw that bird. Taylor here. Now I'm going to send Taylor on number three. Now I'm interested. Something that was interesting about that was you, you saw her fade off. 
She faded off because she had just made retrieves 15, 20 minutes ago in that spot, and it was evident it was in the back of her mind. And then she really remembered that one because she really thought, no, these aren't it, apparently. I know there's one here. No, that's not the one I want you on. Get out. Get out. Get back. So had to handle her to that one. I'm thankful it was her because if it was her, I couldn't handle her at that distance yet. She's not there yet. So there's a reason I sent her on the second one. and it, I didn't expect that. I thought she'd take the line. I really think that Ellie would have took the line. I'll never know. I, I, don't, I don't care. I'm going to see if she'll take that line. So a couple things that almost screwed me up there was by putting Chris and Seth down there on the first one. Really sucked her in. That was a distraction. So now let me line Taylor on number three, and I'll see if I have to handle her. I don't want to. Me handling her, she, she gets too dependent on me, and she pops. I don't like popping. But that time... I needed that. I, uh, handling saved me there. Heel. We give her a little line. Good. 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 So I was right. Right at that point before she hits the barn is where she normally would have stopped and turned around. And you know what I used to do? I used to go, oh, cool, get back. And she'd go get back. But then she started doing it every single time. I don't like that. So when she went, you could see her kind of go like this a little bit and her gait changed. And when she did that, she's short. She hunted short. She just took a real nice lap. What probably hit her was the road. That was a barrier. She shot, she hunted short of that road. So for me, my takeaway from this is if I lived here, I'd set this up tomorrow and do it again. And probably improve on it. And then I'd set it up again, but I'd change it a little bit. And I might walk it this way and send dogs to the same exact spots, but I'd just change my direction. Now she's been gone long enough, I expect her to probably come over the hill with the bumper. And there she crests. Good. You know what part of the problem was? She crested way down here. I lined her right here. So I lined her probably 50 yards right of where the bird is. So she probably took a nice line and I sent her to the wrong place. So she came back and said, it's not there, Dad. And I said, oh, well then get back. And when she got back, the nose worked apparently and made up for my shortfalls in lining. Good, Dave, good. So those are opportunities that because she is where she is, she made it work. Now, Ellie can't handle like that, not yet. Ellie heel. You sit. Ellie heel. Now, how long has it been for that memory? It's been a while on that distraction. So we'll see how good her memory is. I feel confident that I could stop her. I know I can stop her. I don't think I can cast her left and right at that distance. I could do it over here and I'm going to show you because we're going to show you the steps we take to get to that. Good. Good. Very good. Now when I I don't think I touched when when she crested that hill and went, I went good. 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 Because I wanted her to hear that's what I need to do. Is just keep running. Don't turn around. So when she did it, good. Hold. Hold. Good. We talked about yesterday. I talked about how I'm very adamant and I talk a lot about the correction. Oh, you missed it. Correct. 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 I don't talk about it as much and it's much softer usually, but the good. 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 
At times, they, I gotta let them know, like right now, tell Lily good. Good. She, she ramped up, ramped up, ramped up, and we were able to correct. But when she's doing what we want her to do, good, good. When she doesn't break over the hill and I tell her good, she goes, okay, I get it. So we gotta be as, we gotta be as willing to praise them when the timing is right as we are to correct them when the timing is wrong. So that is, that circle memory took a lot of the stuff we've worked on and linked a lot of chains together. Now when you get to that point, you can do a lot of fun stuff. You can work both. Last workshop we had another guy with pretty far along dogs and he worked with me. So we had two handlers handling two different dogs and taking turns and it's a lot of fun. So how do we get to this? Well, that's, this is Z in this situation. Well, now we go back to A and then we figure out how to go to B and then from B to C. And C. So we just reverse engineer all these parts and pieces lay them out and figure out how to fix one of them at a time. Sight memory first, or mark, where we throw mark memory. Trailing memory second. When we get into training, Nick, when we get into training, throw a bunch of them and let the dog pick up none of them or one of them. The rest of them are memory. Because we need to get dogs to start understanding two things. Your dog doesn't struggle with steadiness. Sometimes dogs struggle with steadiness because all we do is throw. And as soon as we stop get doing that, dogs start to steady up. Because they realize, I don't, this isn't for me. But in order to do that, to throw a bumper outside and go pick it up, you've got to be able to be in the basement and throw it three feet and go pick it up. Those little baby steps add it up to be, you know, day to day to day, and all of a sudden a week later you go, ah, oh, we made a little time. Okay, so let's break up the